presented by Wells Fargo. And the only ranked matchup of the opening weekend, the 11th ranked Oregon Ducks and the 16th ranked Auburn Tuck. It's returnable. And it's Travis Dye at the two. Follows a block and spins out across the 25 yard line. Tonight. 7 5 was the score in that one. <laughs> yeah. Herbert rolling, looking, and fires across the middle over the outstretched hands of Brian Addison. That they have a defense, not just a defensive line, but they know that they have secondary people that can blanket you because they like to blitz you. Get the ball and quickly to the far side. Johnny Johnson gets a block and gets out near the 45. That's why I said tonight, Verdell's got to have a night. And they get it out. Red, it was not an accurate throw, had to jump up and made the catch for no gain. It's the inexperienced area. Herbert rolls on play action, looking for a downfield shot. Has a man running wide open, and it's Johnson. Makes a move, lowers the shoulder, and is banged out in. Auburn lost him. They're playing man-to-man -man on the left, playing zone on the right. A combination coverage. Nobody followed Johnny Johnson. Two, they just get it off. It's Burdell, and he runs right into the heart of the defense and gets down to the one. Britt in on the tackle. Yeah, that, that battle in the pit. In the middle. Second and goal. Burdell again running left. Hit in the backfield and spun down by Britt for a loss. And it frees up the linebackers to be able to get into some gaps just like that. Talked about how Kevin Steele does a great job coaching and being aggressive. Field on defense, they just get him on the field. And now Herbert rolls out, tucks it, fights, stretches, scores! The Ducks take the opening kickoff. 75 yards in the corner. Here, the play caller. Getting out wide, giving the quarterback who's athletic the option. They might take a peek to see the leg where it was down and where the football might have been when he extended. But I love the call to give some the showcase matchup tonight. Oregon O-line, Auburn D-line on fourth down. Verdell hammers in. And the Ducks score on fourth down. That's Mario Cristobal, and I just saw a fist pop over across from us from him. You did. Left side of the offensive line, specifically, of winning the battle. He's challenged them not just this week, the entire month with Auburn's talented defensive line. Are you going to be able to match? From Charlotte, who has beaten out the veteran, and he knocks it through. So, the electric 47-yard again. Tempo with first and goal. Die has to shed a tackle in battles near the line of scrimmage. Jerem Palo Alto, he's in the pistol. Red in motion, fake it to him. Habibi Likio, he's a big body back. He leans down to the one. It'll be third and goal. <laughs> Verdell is the back on third and goal. There you go. They fake it to Herbert rolling. Now looks back across the middle. Fires! Drop! It was Brian Addison who dropped the touchdown and drops a huge problem for this receiver. Loved how he looked right, got the defense all the way to the corner, and then came back and threw a seed right into the arms of Addison for a potential touchdown to put him up by 14, but he's unable to hold up. So, Tigers are very good at blocking them. True freshman. Missed it. So a seven-point drop. By and obviously, Bo Nix can do that. Great call right after the big pass. And up inside, Whitlow is stacked up. What an incredible turnaround of the last four or five plays. Yeah, that, that you down 14 nothing and still a one touchdown game. Nix from the pocket. Launches to the end zone. Way over the head of Hastings. Little too much adrenaline that time. Hastings comes in motion on third and nine. Ducks rush four. Nix retreats, flushed, and fires on the sidelines. It's incomplete and way short of the first down. Once again, the pass was 10 of 11. In fact, he was very reliable, except when it was extremely long, beyond 50 last year. And he is able to knock it through. So Auburn takes it. Coordinator with, against these quick throws from Herbert. Verdell sheds a tackle and he's off and running. CJ Verdell makes a cut and works his way into Auburn territory. And the power five to do that. 
See here that Dallas Warmack, the right guard, nice job of opening up that crease. Face mask. Defense number 24. 15 yard penalty added to the run. First down. They got the co captain safety, Daniel Thomas, to tack on 15 to the end of the run. So the Ducks immediately near the red zone again. Yeah. Die spelling Verdell. He's got the football running left behind those offensive linemen and knocked down at the 20. Herbert Pumpfake on second and seven, pressured, buying time, and now we'll loop the ball to the end zone. A risky jump ball, caught for a touchdown. Spencer Webb went up and got it. What a battle. What adjustments are they going to make? He wants to throw the ball here, but Auburn does a good job of coming up and taking that away. Right there, they jumped it. Now he's creating. Now it's backyard football. Who can I find? He gets hit as he throws it. He's smart enough to go up. The ability of Herbert gets hit by Nick Coe as soon as he throws it, so he can't get his lower half into the throw. Completely using just his arm, puts it up high in the air. That's the... So they're without him so far, and on third down, Nix stands and delivers, lobs it down the sidelines, and is almost intercepted. They've had a big, big day today themselves, they by did. the way. That's what Cristobal is looking for here. Sipos punts it from the 10 yard line. Holland tight roping. Javon Holland still going. Makes a cutback into over territory. Can he get the sideline? High stepping. Out of bounds. They in ducks right there at the beginning. Did a nice job, and then it's just about building that wall. And he almost is able to take this all the way to the end zone. But it started at the very beginning. Oregon trying to do a good job of not pushing anybody in the block in the back. And I think they surprised Auburn by returning it back into that boundary for some reason because there was nobody there to stop him. The punter just got leveled by a big body. So now or. Chase him down. Will he get there? Not quite, but a huge scoop and almost score for the junior from Georgia. He's following the tight end Breland, 27, to go around the corner, but he was in such a hurry, he didn't take care of the football. And how about the effort, by the way, a six. Christian Tut trying to get in the way of Herbert, trying to get in the way of anybody that he can before eventually Addison catches him up. But watch, see 27 to your left? He's going to pull it and come around. But instead of being able to pull it, Verdell hits the ball and jars it loose. And the Auburn defense made a similar kind of play against Washington a year ago in the opener. It was a monster play that turned things around. How about Big Cat? It's not his given name. Markeviest. But Big Cat with a K right. motions in. And instead, it's a misdirection play. And it was Eli Stove, a little trickery near the goal line, fooled no one. It's a long center. It's a rarity. And a fumble exchange, a scrum. Nix is battling to keep possession, and it looks like he just did. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Nix rolling. Coming back this way, chased, still alive, fires, end zone in traffic, almost intercepted. Carlson for the second time tonight, makes good from 25, so the 83-yard fumble return, the hustle by Adam get the ball out quickly. 21-yard return by Holland, who's having a night, and also has a pick at safety, sets up Herbert, who takes a downfield shot. But breaking off the route there was the freshman Delkin. <laughs> from up here, you tend to go with the quarterback. Well, you always do anyway. Oh, well, yeah. Herbert rolling, looking across, and delivers a dart, and it's a diving catch for a first strength. We talked about how, how physically he is 6'6", 237. Watch this. Gets his body turned right at the last second, and on the run, able to throw that football on a line about 35 yards, and he throws it exactly. Backfield, Verdell in a misdirection. A hard hit. He'll get just a yard. Roger McCrary, one of his backup safeties, with a stinger on his left shoulder. Watch Davidson. It's a big defensive end. Chasing a really fast. He's not limping. He was hampered in the first half. Play action, a low throw. Breland makes the catch. He's muscled out of bounds short of the marker. It'll be third down. Transfer was a late scratch tonight. 
on the run. Again, far side, delivers a strike. And it's Spence very highly ranked as well. They sort of put a roster together in Eugene. Herbert steps up. Had to work hard to hold out of the football as big Derek Brown. Got a little tighter this time in coverage. Got an inexperienced back in there. He steps up. Herbert delivers into traffic. And the catch is made by Johnson for a first and goal. Look at this move right here. Boy, that's a that's just an understanding between a quarterback and a wide receiver. It's like a bat like playing basketball. He's just gonna work. It's like an option route. Targeted five times, made five catches. Felix tries to bounce it, get the end zone, and he does! And the Ducks stretch the lead as the edge. Watch the corner go inside. The receiver doesn't block him, but he follows him in man coverage and doesn't get back outside. A little hesitation move by Felix. I think slowed down McQuarrie, the corner. Stack, the junior from Honolulu, who did not start. Hampton Lewis missed the chip shot. Now the veteran knocks the PA at every possession for Auburn. Once again, the Ducks are just crowding the line. I mean, it is just going to be difficult to do anything unless they can stretch the field. Yes. Second down carry for Whitlow, who is very patient himself and makes again, oh. something out of nothing. It's a first down in Oregon territory. Watch this. I mean, he runs this off to the right. It looks like he's down right there. Instead, kind of pushes off. Looks back to the left. Faulkner against Washington. Now around the edge. It's Stowe has a blocker in the clear. Eli Stowe down the sideline. A sprint that he's knocked out inside the top. Get the ball on the perimeter with a jet sweep. Got a couple linemen around there to be able to pick up a nice block. Nye, the big tight on the perimeter. Out on the edge. There it is again. Out Confusion on the edge. Ducks. And it's a touchdown to Stowe. They were not lined up. And they were not ready. And over. 58-yard drive in four plays. Desperately needed, and they did it. How about the awareness by Bo Nix? He just aborted the play, threw it out there. Great heads-up play by the freshman quarterback to quickly get the ball snapped and throw it to give Snow a chance to make a play on the football. To perhaps a tie ball game if they can reach the end zone and get a two-point conversion. Whitlow breaks free. High stepping his way into the red zone. Here, the right tackle, Seal, tight end, does a kick out, and they open a nice hole this time for Whitlock. Patience, vision, bounces it to the right, and picks up big yards. They fake it to him on first down with Tempo, and the catch is made by Matthew Hill, bounced off one tackle, and then dragged down. Booby bangs ahead, down inside the 10, he's near the marker. Will be spotted just for fresh bodies. Right over the back on third and short. Actually, he's the Wildcat quarterback trying to get the edge. And he'll be knocked down short of the goal line by Graham, but it's first and goal. But I, I tell you the more now, great runner. Offensive linemen are lined up in the backfield. This is just a dive for the end zone. Did he get there? Yes! And the Tigers get within two. It's a nice job for Joey Gatewood. Comes in, 6-5 over the goal line. One play, break the plane, touchdown for Auburn. You hold the ball out like that, you better break the plane first. He's a guy with four. Nick's back at quarterback. Shivers is the back. And was there a flinch up front? One over no. the left tackle. Let's see if that changes the thinking or if he's still going to try to go for the two point conversion out here. BS record held by Flores safe. It's a high snap and a good job getting it down by Sage Ledbetter, the holder. And Auburn back. Something to keep in mind, the timeouts, 431. Auburn, all three of their timeouts. Well, that's the man they've gone to, Jalen Red. You snap it at 12 in the play clock, and they get it to Red again. And he's going to be knocked down right near the marker. Yeah, they'll move it. After the catch. Nine catches for Red tonight. Verdell straight up the middle. Test the midsection and picks up about three on first down, and this will take it under three. Give up another first down. Herbert rolls on second and seven. Pressure escapes, but not for long. Sacked. 
at the 24. Here's the cushion. The, the route is going to go to the outside, but watch how quickly Tut works around and stays and takes away the outcut. That outcut's been there all day. This time, good job of accelerating, putting his foot in the ground, taking that, that option away. For the bat. Huge play. Has time. Delivers. Yeah. Caught by Dye out of the backfield. Nowhere to run. Papo the front. Time. From the 40. Next. Near side. Seth Williams can't spin free. Remember that Anders Carlson has tremendous. Get him to 53. He's got a chance. Next takes off. He's out near midfield. They don't they don't need that many yards. You get a couple first downs. Patience between the tackles. Third down. Nix has a lot of time. Lost the ball far side. It's incomplete. Was underthrown. And I thought the receiver did a nice job. Canella coming back. And boy, that's pretty, that's pretty physical. Graham grabbing on to the jersey, trying to work his way back to the football. I'm surprised they didn't call that one. Here we go. Mix under center, rolls out. Will he try to run it? Yes, dives! First down, Auburn. It's right at midfield. And they oh. Take off and run. He has two receivers out to the right. No three. Nobody's open. Dives for that first down marker. And get, looks like he gets it by about a half of the football. That's what they're going to look at right there. Right there. Right. The knee is down. The ball just had to get to the 50. That's right where the yard line is. So is the ball across the 50? It's difficult from that angle. Right there is where the uh, action will be stopped. Here's a better look. Knee down now. He's got it. And yeah. it looks like his spot was right on there. Yep. 25 yards. Look at that. Nose to the ball. 20 yards. At that point, it was a 19 all game. Auburn was trying to drive for a game winning field goal. Booby does not want to run backwards, but Oregon traps him for a loss. Bryson Young, the stud backer, makes a play. The right by Seth, the, uh, the wide receiver, Seth Williams, 18. He just kind of let his guy come in. And he spotted it back at the 50, so second and 10. Mix in traffic, delivers a strike, stretching near the marker. It's Spencer Nye. Short of a first down. Creates serious urgency for Auburn. Whitlow tries to bounce it. It is a first down. It'll stop the clock momentarily at the 38. And he fired the ball. And it. so is Carlson. <laughs> yeah. Next from the pocket. going to throw. Launches it near side. Incomplete. Trying to make a back shoulder. Ducks come after him. Nix gets it out. Caught! Williams out of bounds with 16 seconds, and now they are in. Now they can play a little safer, but they're not going to. Nix is back, throws it downfield. Caught, touchdown, Williams! And Oregon, in an opportunity for a huge statement win, may taste hard. Conservative, Gus Malzahn said, nope, <laughs> I trust my freshman, underthrows it. And Seth Williams does a good job of coming back to the ball. By the way, he, he's kind of slow playing it. Gets in front of the safety. He has a big catch radius at 6'3". He's a big guy at 245 pounds. But the ball being underthrown allowed him to come back and undercut McQuarrie. That's why, or actually, that wasn't McQuarrie. It was actually gets behind. McKinley. Yeah, McKinley gets behind Graham. Does a good job getting behind in front of McKinley and up in the air. But his big body, the ball being underthrown, and Auburn scores. Ducks a chance to return a ball deep, right? Now they kind of scooted along the ground. Oregon out of timeouts. And strutting straight up the field and making a dangerous return and still running and tackled down to the 35 with three seconds. Answer the heroics of the freshman on the final play. Triple zero on the clock. Herbert looking for a receiver. Launches over the end zone and Auburn survives. A comeback victory. A game-winning touchdown pass with nine seconds to go.
in Bo Nix's. Back to the drawing board. Oh, the Tigers have a meat grinder schedule ahead, but tonight they win it with nine seconds to go. Fresno State USC.